Hello everybody, welcome back to another very exciting video. So ever since AMD released their DLSS alternative called FidelityFX Super Resolution and its nature of being open source and not relying on any AI upscaling method that requires creating trained models for each game and all, I have always wondered that there's got to be a way to implement FSR globally on any game. And lo and behold, we already have a way to implement FSR 1.0 on any game globally. By the way, those who don't know about FSR, I made a video on it, go check it out. In short, FSR is an upscaling technique developed by AMD that renders the game at a lower internal resolution and then scales up to the native resolution of your monitor. This enables you to get higher FPS without a huge loss to image quality. So in order to implement FSR on your favorite game, by the way, FSR's main advantage is that you can apply FSR on any GPU, whether Nvidia, AMD, Intel, in Integrated Graphics, APUs, whatever. So you have to download this software called Lossless Scaling from Steam and sorry to say it is not free. It cost me 200 rupees. So I was curious to see how well it worked and I just spent the money. This app is developed by an ex Ubisoft developer and you can know more about it from the link in the description. So using the software is very simple. First launch the software. Select the scale type as FSR. Capture API to auto and enable force resize. We'll come to scale factor and sharpness in a moment. Now FSR has four image quality settings, starting with ultra quality, which preserves the best image quality possible, all the way down to performance, which has the worst image quality. I talk more about this in my FSR video. Go check it out. From this document, you can find the internal rendering resolution for each quality setting for the corresponding output quality. I want to emphasize the fact that FSR works best when targeting a resolution of 1440p or 4K. At 1080p, it doesn't have as much data to work with and so the image quality takes a bigger hit but us budget gamers won't mind that too much, isn't it guys? So for ultra quality, you need to use a scale factor of 1.3, 1.5 for quality, 1.7 for balance and 2 for performance. I had mentioned in my previous FSR video that I recommend to stick to ultra quality or quality for 1080p gaming. And regarding sharpness, you can set it anywhere between 0 and 2, 0 being most sharpened. Okay, now let me show you how you can upscale a game. But for this, I need to switch to my phone camera as I don't have a capture card right now. I'm sorry that the image quality will not come through as clearly, but you gotta take my word for it. So this is Horizon Zero Dawn. At native 1080p resolution, with original settings with temporal anti-aliasing or TAA applied, as FSR heavily depends upon the game's TAA implementation. So if a game has bad TAA implementation, the final image will also be bad. So here you can see we are getting about 37 to 38 FPS in this section, at native. Now to apply FSR, first select window mode, it's a requirement for now. Now in order to keep the game running at 1080p or close to 1080p, maximize the window. Now switch to lossless scaling software and input your scale factor and sharpness. I'm using 1.3 for ultra quality and sharpness 0.2 for now. Switch back to the game and press Ctrl Alt S, which is the hotkey combo. And you'll see the game go back to full screen, indicating that it's being upscaled. So you can check this by also switching back to lossless scaling if you want. So now you can see that our frame rate has increased. In fact, we gained 10 more FPS or about 26% boost in FPS. And the image quality is still pretty good in my opinion. Obviously, it is not as good as native, but still quite good enough for a budget gamer like me. And I'm sorry I cannot show you the image quality differences through my phone camera. Now let me show you the quality setting. So I'll select 1.5 here and this is the result. Thank you. 
Once again, I cannot show you the further image quality downgrade, but the FPS is well above 50 FPS now. Now, although in my opinion, ultra quality for this game is good enough. To stop the upscaling, just press the hotkey combo again, Control alt s Now, let me show you the same in Shadow of the Tomb Raider maximum settings. FSR actually works way better with this game, probably because the mostly static environment. The image quality is very close to native in both ultra quality and quality setting. Now this kind of generic you know, global implementation of FSR 1.0, I'm not sure might not be as good as when a game developer natively implements it in the game's rendering pipeline. Now, I'm not recommending you guys to just go and purchase this outright, but if you are curious, you can check it out. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit the like button and definitely subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.